shout out to representative from Missouri, Curry Bush. Somebody who's actually had to deal with housing insecurity. Somebody who has to live inside of her car with two children. And what she did, she camped out on the steps of the Capitol. You know, the place where six months ago, people were fucking talking about, we want to take back the people's house and we want to we want to force a dictator into power. Somebody was using these steps to actually help those of you guys who may be home insecure or close to being. Anyway, so we're going to move on to the next video and this is actually going to be short and um, I'm sorry that I didn't do this a little bit earlier, but um, yeah, like I discussed in the early part of the stream, it's just been, it's just like I've been not feeling 100%, but um, this is actually something that was actually really good. So um, let's go into this video. All right, guys. So remember, I always say that your representatives aren't your bosses aren't your leaders they're your employees we want to actually take the time here at crimson 60620 want to take the time when a representative actually did their job and actually represented you and made sure you were taken care of now this is a little bit over uh almost two weeks ago but but um, it was actually resolved last Friday. And I know it's old news, but let's go for it. Here we go. I'm going to play the video and then we're going to come back to it. Congress did not um, get the moratorium extended on Friday. Uh, the president and the CDC have not pinned, um, did not make that happen. And so now this is where we are. We are adding to the housing crisis with a mass, with mass evictions. My message is, let's get it done. This We got to um, realize the urgency of this moment. People, we do not need to be forcing people out of their homes, number one, because that is su human suffering and we shouldn't, we shouldn't participate in that. But also in the midst of a global daily pandemic, how do we put, force people out of their homes and put them in situations um, where we know that um, that can be deadly? We're talking about our elders, we're talking about children, we're talking about um, people who may be immunocompromised. This is not what our this is not who our country should be, and the, the leaders in this country, those the lawmakers in this country, we have to act. Um, so we have asked for the White House and the CDC to work together, and we need an eviction moratorium. We've asked for House leadership to reconvene the House, bring us back, bring us back. We need to know that we have the two eight the two hundred eighteen votes. Let's get this done. And the thing is, these things can happen simultaneously. We need the bill. We need an actual bill, the bill that is on the table. Um, that uh, Chairwoman Maxine Waters has introduced that would be uh, an eviction moratorium through December 31st. We need to at least start there. I want to see that strengthened. I want to see the, I want to see a moratorium through the end of the pandemic, but we at least need to start with the bill that we have. All right, so let's address this. First off, shout out to Representative from Missouri, Cory Bush. Somebody who's actually had to deal with housing insecurity. Somebody who has to live inside of her car with two children and what she did she camped out on the steps of the capitol you know the place where six months ago people were fucking talking about we want to take back the people's house and we want to we want to force a dictator into power somebody was using these steps to actually help those of you guys who may be home insecure or close to being home insecure. This woman literally slept out in the hot fucking DC summer to make sure she brings attention, attention to the Biden administration of extending the moratorium. And after what, four days? She got to extend another six, uh, another 60 days. 
It shouldn't take all of this. It shouldn't take that in order to know that you shouldn't pick people out during a pandemic. Early in the stream, I said it. You need to make sure. You need to make sure that we need to stop de de uh, decommodifying housing. The fact is, no one should in this country, the richest motherfucking country, or so they say, no one should actually have to be home insecure. But the fact is, you get these people, almost had terms of services. You get these people that are so focused on making sure that they have their, lo their lobby buddies proud. You have lobbying groups donating to not just Republican, but corporate Democrats as well. In order to make sure that they can turn this over so they can get to kicking people out. Do you know how many people that I've known that's trying to get a housing, a house, but you get these fucking business firms coming in and offering cash offers to these, these buyers? I was actually just watching something about how um, the wholesale wholesale marketers are actually driving up the price and causing people not to be able to have enough money to buy homes all because they want to make a profit that's why they eventually eviction moratorium that they want to end it so they can kick people out and start renting these homes or kick people is uh, stop them um stop take over these mortgages and actually just cause a perpetual state of renters So fuck these people. And you know what? Fuck these people that are so pissed off because the squad, the Justice Democrats are getting shit done and being in the Democratic Party. Hello, Jimmy Dore fans. That they would... There were people that was shitting on Cori Bush because she had the gall to try to do something. So fuck these people. And thank you, Cory Bush, for proving our representatives are not our rulers. They're our employees. Thank you for the other people of the squad of the Justice Democrats that actually also push. AOC was out there one night. You know, the one that Jimmy Dore and his, his little fans are upset because she won't come on their show and he made her. So, yeah, yeah, I want to say thank you to Cori Bush because she really, really fucking helped us out. She really stood there and made sure that we were able to extend this moratorium. And you know what? This should be the first step. Not only should we need commodify housing, but um, this is principle, you know, this guy once came up was called UBI. We should work on. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this clip. Please help me out by hitting that like button or subscribe, follow. Let you know when I go live and to make sure that um we can help support the, you I, you can help me support the channel. But thank you for watching. And you enjoy the rest of your you enjoy the rest of your day and in the segment here. I want to take the time to say thank you to my current patrons. And you can actually help support my channel for as little as one dollar a month. Check out Crimson60620 PS4 Gaming. Thank you.